This Litcode challenge is power of 3 and it's number 326. Given an integer n, we have to return true if it's a power of 3. Otherwise, we have to return false. An integer n is a power of 3 if there exists an integer called x such that 3 to the power of x equals n. This is an example. If n is 27, then 3 to the power of 3 is equal to 27. So this condition here is satisfied. Therefore, we can return true. If n is 0, there is no integer x such that 3 to the power of x equals 0. And therefore, we have to return false. If n is a negative number, then we don't have any integer x such that 3 to the power of x equals the negative value. In this case, n is negative 1. So we have to return false. This here in the text editor is my solution. It's a Boolean function, so we have to return true or false. Here I'm taking care of cases where n is either 3 or below 3. So we first check if n is equal to 3. Let's assume that x is 1. 3 to the power of 1 is equal to 3, which is n. So that is correct. And if x is 0, then 3 to the power of x would be 1. And if n is 1, that is also correct. So we check here if n is either 3 or less than 3, we can return true so long as n is either 3 or 1. In any other case, if n is 2 or 0 or a negative value, we return false. And then here I'm going to process my value through a while loop. And at every iteration, I'm going to verify if when I divide n by 3, I get any remainder. If n is divisible by 3, whatever value it is, we are not supposed to get a remainder. But this modulo operator will return the remainder if there is 1. If this, for example, is a value other than 0, then this condition will be satisfied, meaning that we're going to return false. We are not supposed to have a remainder if n is divisible by 3. So if n is divisible by 3, this condition will not evaluate to true, meaning that we are going to jump here. And here we have else, if n is divisible by 3, then we are going to divide n by 3 and store back the value into n. So here, n is getting updated. Assuming that n is 27, then when we check here, 27 divided by 3, there is no remainder. So we come here and we update n to be equal to 27 divided by 3, which is 9. So here, n is going to be 9. We're going to jump here. 9 divided by 3, there is no remainder. So we come here. 9 divided by 3 is 3 itself. This condition is still satisfied. 3 divided by 3, there is no remainder. So we come here. n divided by 3 is 1. So here we verify if n equals to 1, then we can return true. Otherwise, we return false. Like I explained here, n must be divisible by 3 until the result is 3, so that when we do n divided by 3 again here, n will be equal to 1. So that's it for the code. Now I'm running it. We've passed the test case. Now let me submit this. And we've passed all the test cases. If you check the details, there were over 21,000 test cases. So this solution is being tested extensively and uh, we did pretty well. So that's it for this lead code challenge. It was called power of three. The number was lead code 326. If you like my solution in C++ and you want more coding interview questions, please subscribe to my channel and I'll catch you next time.